bully. Really men know that bullies are people who want to be men, but aren't. He's calm but confident, relaxed but prepared, kind but authentic, and bold but compassionate. A real man puts aside his wants, his needs, and sometimes even his dreams for the benefit of others. His life is not about his individual rights, achievements or happiness. It's about making life better for others. A real man stands tall when the fierce winds of adversity blow around him. He cherishes and protects women and children. He knows he has an obligation to mentor those who follow in his footsteps. He recognizes the sphere of influence and uses it for good. A real man knows that life has fundamental truth lives his life according to a firm set of principles. He stands for something. Too many men stand for nothing. What do you stand for? One of the messages that I've been trying to get across to you day in and day out is the power of a man and the impact that each one of your choices have on one another and the world around you. If you know this or if you don't know this, any decision that you make affects millions of people each and every day. Okay? And so I want you guys to learn a little bit about yourself. One of the toughest things I, I went through is not knowing who I really was. And so we're going to do a little, uh, we're going to do a little experiment here, okay? We're going to go on a little mental vacation right now. And what I want you to do, now listen to me very carefully. For the next two or three minutes, I want you to think and imagine your favorite vacation place, whether it be an island or a beach, somewhere out there where you love to be and where you'll be alone, where there's nobody at. And just for this next few, few minutes, I'm going to fly you there, but you have to leave a few things here with Coach, okay? What you have to leave here in this gym with Coach is all the roles that define you as an individual. 
All of those things that you think make you stay here in this gym with me right now, okay? I want you to, uh, everything that makes you, being a football player, being a son, being a husband, being a businessman, whatever you think defines you as an individual stays here. And just for the next few minutes, religion is not part of this experiment, okay? And what I want you to do is when I tell you, I want you to close your eyes, okay? And I want you to look at yourself, naked. You have nothing. You're naked to the world, okay? And you can do that now. Everybody close their eyes. Let's do that. Close your eyes, okay? And I want you to look at yourself in your favorite place, on a beach. Nobody's around. You're just like you were as you came in to the world as a baby. You were naked of roles or anything that defined you as an individual. And I want you to take a real hard look close, hard, close look at yourself, and I want you to give yourself a rating, a measurement from 1 to 10. 1 being the worst individual on the planet that can't accomplish anything. It's everybody else's fault. No matter what he gets, it's going to be taken, taken away anyway. It's always the victim. Kind of, you know, just a real nobody, loser, worst person that you could possibly imagine. Or, so it's from one to a ten, and the ten is that perfect person. That person that can accomplish any of his goals, can come, overcome any adversary or adversity, that he faces in life. No matter what they take away, you will rebuild it. The type of person that will achieve and continue to achieve his entire life. And I want you to give yourself an honest to God rating from one to ten how you see yourself. And it's very important. Now you guys can open your eyes for a second. Everybody basically have their number. Everybody have some sort of number. Okay, just for the sake of time, I'm going to work a little backwards right now. And I'm going to tell you guys something. There's only one right answer. And it's you're a 10. And if you believe that you are anything less than a 10, it's because the world has programmed you to think that and to believe that. A father, a mother, a coach, somebody has told you you are less than who you are. I believe and I know and I testify from the deepest parts of my soul that each of you guys are tense. And so live that way. That's it. Let's go to work.